In Rostov on Don, the giant plant Rostsolmish has been producing combines for almost a hundred years. He survived the decline of the Russian economy at the end of the last century, survived the brutal crisis of 2008 and survived in the face of even fiercer competition from foreign combine manufacturers. And after they left the Russian market in 2022, Rostsolmish now accounts for three quarters of the Russian market for new harvesters. Rostsolmish really makes a lot of combines. For this, not one, but two large assembly shops are used. Combine assembly workshop number one was put into operation in the mid-1980s. It was built under the program for the production of the most modern Don 1500 combines at that time, launched into mass production in 1986. Interestingly, for several years these combines have been successfully exported even to the USA and Canada. An interesting feature of this workshop is a platform-type conveyor. It consists of separate platforms that form a single assembly line. Platforms are able to move independently of each other. This technology is justified, since the assembly of different models of combines differ significantly in the time of the operations performed. The conveyor is closed in a circle, 80 combines can be on it at the same time. Approximately once every 20 minutes, a finished combine comes off the conveyor. After leaving the conveyor, quality control of manufacturing. The harvester is put on drums with driving wheels and checked in different modes. Then the harvester is checked in motion along a 3km route. The newest, most modern and most productive combine produced in this workshop is the T506 class combine launched in 2020 with a double drum threshing and separation system. The second model produced in this workshop is the Acros 5th class combine. The third model is the Vector 410 4th class combine and its Vector 450 truck variant on Caterpillar tracks. In 2018, serial production of the third class Nova combine was launched. This model has become the successor to the most famous and massive Neva combine in Russia. The Neva harvester was in great demand during the Soviet Union and continued to be in demand after. In total, the Neva harvester has been mass produced for 45 years. True, not in this workshop, but in the combine assembly workshop number two. In assembly shop number two, two of the most modern and high performance models of combines are mass produced. These are the 7th class harvester RSM 161 and the most innovative 8th class harvester Torum 785. The Torum 785 harvester is distinguished by the use of a unique axial rotary threshing and separating device protected by a Russian patent, for the development of which design at an exhibition in Paris in 2005 Rostsolmish was awarded as the best industry innovation. With this device, not only the rotor itself rotates, in antiphase to it the so-called deck, that is, the outer lattice shell, also rotates. This design greatly improves productivity by doubling the threshing and separation area. The RSM-161 combine was the first among other Rostsolmish combines to have a double drum threshing and separation system. Such a system is at least 15% more productive than a classic single drum system. It is impossible not to notice that all combines in both assembly shops are exclusively black. This is because, after assembly and test checks, all combines are transferred to another workshop, where external panels are mounted on them, painted in the corporate red and white color. In today's conditions, when the most severe Western sanctions have been imposed on Russia, Rostsolmish has slightly reduced its output. If in 2021 Rostsolmish produced about 5,700 agricultural machines, then in 2022 it will be almost 2,000 less. But the company quickly orientated itself in the new economic realities. They began to develop new sales markets and significantly accelerated the program for replacing imported components. In particular, we have mastered the production of such components that are difficult to manufacture, such as transmission units. The plant purchased production equipment and began to manufacture gearboxes, transfer boxes and drive axles. These units were previously imported. Within a few years, Rostsolmish plans to switch to full independent production of these units for all models of combines. And not only for harvesters, for more than 15 years, Rostsolmish has also been producing the most powerful agricultural tractors in Russia.
In 2007, Rost Solmush acquired the assets of the Canadian tractor manufacturer Buller and introduced the world-famous versatile brand to the Russian market, and in 2016, the production of these tractors was transferred to Rostov on Don, deploying it in one of the Rost Solmush buildings. Since then, Rost Solmush has been developing and manufacturing agricultural tractors under its own brand. The first in serial production at the Rostzolmush plant mastered the production of a family of wheel tractors of the 2000 series. These are all wheel drive tractors with an articulated frame, with several engine options from 380 to 430 horsepower. Then Rostzolmush mastered the production of articulated tractors of the 3000 family with engines ranging from 440 to 630 horsepower. This family includes the most powerful wheeled agricultural tractor model 3575 in Russia today. Recently, Rostzolmush has developed a junior family of tractors, which has received the general name Series 1000. To date, a pilot batch of them has been made, but these tractors will go into serial production at the new plant. The new tractor plant of the Rostzolmush company is located a few hundred meters from its main production site. The construction of this plant began in 2021. Its production building with a total area of 62,000 square meters has already been built, and now interior work is underway. As of the end of April, floors were being poured in this building and premises were being prepared for the installation of production equipment. The dimensions of the case are impressive. It will accommodate five assembly lines. The production of all agricultural tractors will be transferred to the new plant. At the same time, the Rostzolmush tractor program will expand to five series. Also, the new plant will begin production of telescopic loaders with a carrying capacity of 2.5 to 8 tons and several models of construction equipment, backhoe loaders, front loaders and crawler excavators. Thus, already in 2024, Rostzolmush will enter a new market for construction equipment. The tractor plant under construction will provide jobs for 1,800 people. Plus, new jobs are created due to the localization of imported components at Rostzolmush. It is encouraging to see how the business environment for Russian industry improves in 2023. Until recently, the country's government bowed to transnational corporations, served their interests to the detriment of Russian engineering companies. The new situation simply left the government no choice but to start acting in the interests of its own producers for the first time in the history of post-Soviet Russia.